And we're back, guys. The Indian well starts very shortly, and I forgot all about it. So let's take a look at the first round draw here. Uh, I don't have any numbers in front of me, but we're just going to take a look at these matchups here. Petra Martic, Team Vegan, taking on Angelique Kerber. Kerber is a multiple slam champion, right? Three grand slam titles, left-handed, very strong, powerful, aggressive baseliner. She trained to specifically defeat Serena Williams, right, in her prime. You know, she had a rigorous training schedule. A prime Kerber beats Martic. It's it's as simple as that. She's got too much power. She's too aggressive, too athletic for, for the taller player. But she hasn't played, and it might be tough. So ooh, I guess I got to take Petra Martic by default to win that matchup. Tatiana Maria taking on Roos. Uh, Roos is left another left-hander, just like Kerber. Very aggressive. Uh, Maria is going to play defensive, a lot of top spin. She's going to try to bring Roos forward. If she can bring Roos forward, uh, she's going to make mistakes. Roos wants to baseline. She has a, a deep ball. Maria is going to go to top spin. I do think Roos will overpower Maria in a lot of these exchanges, but the problem here is Maria. She's going to get balls back. The more balls she gets back. Roos is going to be in trouble. I, I just don't like Roos as an overall great shot maker. I think she's shook. she can get balls back, but the longer the rally goes, it's going to favor Maria. And I tell you all the time, Maria, she'll, she'll, she'll return the same shot back 10 times in a row until you make a mistake. Maria is very disciplined. Roos just is not. It is what it is. Uh, I'll take Maria to win a set. Sarah Schreiber's terminals, Mary Boo, look, these these ladies are they're very good friends. They're best friends, right? Marie loves to speak Spanish. Now she has a doubles partner. She can just forget about English. She can talk Spanish to or even check. Listen, this is a matchup here where Sarah is she, she needed to take time off. She's been going through a lot mentally. She felt she was burnt out. So it's very tough to back Sarah in this situation. But the reality here is Sarah. In her prime, she should beat her good friend, Buskova. She really should. But she hasn't played. So um, I think the first set's going to be competitive. I, I'll i take Mary to win the first set. But that's not something I would even look at personally. But I'll take Mary Boo to win the first set. Wong and Shramkova. Uh, I'll take Wong to win that matchup. She's playing a lot of tennis. She has good form. Volley Nets and uh, Mera and Dreva. Oh, wow. So Katie beat Erica to get into the U.S. Open. Now they're putting her up against Mira, big, no, little sister. What am I talking about? Mira's the little sister. This is going to be a good matchup. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to take Katie Volinets. Mira, last I did check this matchup, she was a huge favorite. I'll take Katie Volinets plus six and a half. Katie, she's going to have the home crowd backing her. I think they'll take it easy on Mira. Katie might even win that match. I'll take the spread. Uh, Zhang Shui and Han Tama, Kanishiwa. Uh, look, Zhang hasn't played. I mean, it's going to be tougher to, to win a match where she hasn't played. And Han Tama, she's active and she, she came through qualifiers. So this is a tough match, very tough match. I could see Zhang just coming out flat and then warming up. Uh, I'll take the second set over eight and a half. She's going to have to warm herself up in this match. Tough matchup. Para and Seville. Seville, look, she's defensive powerhouse. She's very athletic. She gets balls back. The longer the rally goes, Seville's going to win these rallies. It's it's really as simple as that. Uh, but how is Seville? She had a very tough tournament in San Diego where she played a lot of tennis. Ooh, I'm, I'm going to go with Para. She's got the home crowd, but I will tell you, the longer the rally goes, Seville will win those points. Para's going to have to overpower Seville. In these exchanges, use her athletic ability and be aggressive. I'll take Para to win. Georgie and Bolter. Bolter's hot, right? She's playing good tennis, but let's just be honest. Georgie's been on tour a lot longer. Bolter's really making that push from the ITF. Even though, I look, I've been supporting her the whole time, but Georgie's uh, Bolter shouldn't be a three-to-one favorite against Georgie. Bolter is a bit more disciplined. She is the more consistent shot maker, but uh, I'm going to take Georgie six and a half. Georgie, could, she might even win the match. Those are the picks, guys. Enjoy. We'll get the next videos to you a little bit earlier with a little more research. Uh, I have not researched any of these matches. Uh, that's just surface value. Tennis in a minute. We'll be back. Enjoy, guys.